This question is from Vectors. Uh, we are told in the figure below A is a midpoint of BC. So we have our E there. Uh, AD into DC uh, is 3 is to 2. So we can write here uh, 3 and here it is 2. That is the ratio. Uh, and F is a midpoint of intersection. Uh, is a point of intersection of BD and AE. Uh, yeah, we have the diagram. So Roman number one, given that AB is equals to B, so this is our B, and AC is our C, so this is our C, express AE and BD in terms of A and B. So this is our A, we start with the AE, AE. So we can say that uh, since we are told that uh, E is a midpoint, so this is 1 and 1. So can we find the AE? AE, uh, let's use this space, AE is equals to, uh, we, it is AB plus BE. AB plus BE. Uh, so we need uh, to write this. Our B is vector B uh, plus BE is a half of BC. Uh, so we can write BC. Uh, B is equals to B plus a half. Uh, BC is the same as uh, you got the reverse way of B. So it is minus B plus uh, the C. Uh, so we get that. So we write this is B plus a minus a half B plus C and this will give us uh, a half a B minus a half is a half B uh, plus uh, here we have it's a half C plus a half C. So that is the AE in terms of B and C. So this is C there. Uh, we go to room uh, to number two. Uh, we have uh, our BD. Our BD. Uh, BD is the same as we go the reverse way of minus AB plus AD. Uh, so we know that. Uh, minus AB is the same as minus B, small b, uh, plus AD is uh, 3 over 5 of AC. Uh, 3 over 5 of AC. And we know AC is the same as C, so it means minus B uh, plus uh, 3 over 5C. So we can write this as 3 over 5C uh, minus B. So that is uh, the vector uh, BD in terms of uh, C and B. So let's go to part 2 of the question. So uh, uh, given further that BF is equal to TBD, so this is BF. Uh, so we can write this is uh, T, uh, this is 1 minus T, uh, and AF is equals to SAE, so this is AS, and this is 1 minus S, uh, find the values of S and T. So let's start with BF, so we are told that uh, BF is equals to TBD, which we can uh, write our BD T into bracket, our BD is the same as what we had calculated up here. So we write it is 3 over 5 C uh, minus B. So when you complete this, you get this is equals to 3 over 5 uh, T C uh, minus T B. So that is our that is our our BF. Uh, then we say that uh, AE AE is equals to 
not a e but a f a f is equals to s a e and we had worked out a e here so we say it is equals to s into bracket we got our a e is a half b uh, plus a half c uh, this is equals to uh, a half s b plus a half s c so the apostrophe uh, or the small line uh, is to differentiate constant and vectors uh, now we also say b f is equals to b f can also be written as minus b that is the reverse of a b uh, plus uh, a f our a f we already have a f so this is equals to minus b uh, plus our a f we have already worked it here it is a half s b uh, ma plus a half s c uh, so we can put the right terms together and say uh, we have a half b we factor out b so it's a half s minus one into bracket vector b plus a half s c uh, from there uh, we find that uh, since b the, this vector and it is the same vector bf uh, it means the constant that we have here are the same that is the, the, the t minus t is the same as the i have uh, s minus t so let's so this means that uh, uh, three uh, that is uh, three over five uh, tc minus uh, t b that is vector is equals to uh, into bracket a half uh, s minus one uh, of b uh, plus a half uh, s c so and therefore if they are the same it means the constants are the same that is uh, this is a constant for b it means it's the same uh, so we say it uh, 3 over 5 t is the same as a half s uh, and when you work out that you find uh, s is equals to s is equals to 6 uh, 6 over 5 t uh, also we are told uh, minus t is equals to uh, minus t is equals to a half s minus s minus one uh, so when you work out that you find s is equals to uh, two minus two t that is when you simplify that uh, expression uh, and therefore what we do is uh, we quit now uh, s uh, or rather we say that uh, uh, 6 over 5 uh, uh, t is equals to since we are expressing s the same it is equals to 2 minus 2 t uh, when you work out that you put the right terms together you find that t is equals to uh, 5 over 8 and once you get t is equals to 5 over 8 because here now we have only one unknown then you you substitute your s is equals to uh, 6 over 5 and t is multiplied by uh, 5 over 8 uh, so we, by 2 you get 4 by 2 you get 3 uh, 5 divided by 5 is 1 so s is equals to uh, 3 over 4 so those are the values of s and t and that's how you go about it 
uh, in vectors. So that's how you get uh, your final answer. So thank you for watching.